Hi guys, it's Triple C. Well, my brother's got a 32-inch television right there. And um, I can't ask him to buy a new TV. But at the same time, that's too small for anything that we want to do. So we have to have a temporary solution that doesn't cost very much and they'll do the trick. A budget projector. the price it's got a very very simple interface it's got an input button it's got the ESC button it's got the arrow keys OK and power most of the time you just need the power and it comes with a remote control as well on the side it's got two simple levers to adjust the focus as well as the tilt so you can put the projector in an angle what you need from the projectors are all there it's got a USB input and it's got a USB output if you want to connect your phone to it. It's got a headphone jack. It's got an audio and a video in. And then uh, here's a SD card slot. You can put your SD card in. As well as the HDMI port. And in the back, it's got the VGA port. For projectors uh, standard, this is not by any means a very, very good projector. This is actually as simple as it gets. The idea of this is for portable. You can bring the projector around, uh, temporary solution, stuff like that. It supports a 1920 by 1080 input, but the actual output resolution that display onto the projection is only 800 by 480. It's actually good enough, but then uh, the spec is such, it's not, more, it's not more important than how bright it gets. And... Uh, 1,000 lumens. No, it's not that bright, but you know what? It's bright enough, and I'm going to show you. I never have any other projectors before. I don't know enough about projectors. So, the only way that I can show you if it's any good, it's by showing you if it's any good, and I haven't mentioned the name yet. It's called Momi X800. It can go up to 130 inch, depending on the distance you are from the wall. The device is now turned on and it's quite noisy. But you know what? It's not a bad thing. You know there's a decent cooling in there. And I can see uh, a copper pipe cooler with aluminum fins. So uh, it looks like a proper cooler for whatever device that's in it. So uh, the noise, I, I don't really mind it too much, but it's got the fan noises though. But whatever the case, it's not as bad as say a uh, Xbox 360. Now that thing is loud, there's nowhere near that. Right now, it's daytime. You can see the sunlight comes in, and I also have the lights on right above it. And then, as you can see, it's not very good when it's very bright inside. Well, obviously, it's not that kind of a projector. But, before we talk about that, it has a speaker right there. A tiny speaker. You can hear, but it doesn't sound good, so I do recommend you to get a set of speaker or something like that. Just as long as it's as good as like a television speaker or something like that. But anyway, now we're going to turn off the light. Lights off, you can kind of see it okay. It's still bright out. So the idea is really about how bright. So now it's pretty bright outside. You can see it way better. And uh, of course, it's how you adjust it to be more blurry or it depends on the distance. Now it's clear enough. I have it hooked up to my laptop. Now, let's get the blinds off. Well, now I have one blinds off. The other one is still open. And with some light, it looks actually okay. You can have some light with this projection on. Just not too bright. But as you can see, uh, for temporary solution, it's pretty good compared to that over there is the 32-inch television. 
It's way better. You can easily see. You don't necessarily have to have a blind for this, a screen, but you know, it's probably better if you do, but we have white wall, so it's okay. So uh, you can t change the tilt, so you can see you can tilt it. Depending on the angle of your machine, you can tilt it for the better fit. Adjust the focus yourself. Sometimes I really do like things are manual. All right, now I have it, I'm going to have it completely I'm going to have the blinds off completely. So obviously the darker it gets, the better it performs. Now you can see very, very clearly. So it's very good. I had the blinds off. But here's the idea though. If you have the light source sort of at the back, not right above the uh, projection, sort of behind it, then you can still see the wall clearly. That's why the the one before where we have some blinds open, you can still see it clearly. There's a reason for that. The reason for that is because on the wall, it's still dark enough for it to project that onto. And, and um, you know, you can have some lights in the house. So I say that's pretty good. It's got different modes. It's got different input where you have the PC which are the upper right. It's in Chinese right now, but the upper right is PC, means VGA. Right now, it's high definition, means the HDMI port. And of course, you can change it to other functions, such as uh, connect your USB to it. I don't have a USB key handy, so I can't really show you any other stuff, but it does support. Here's the USB, and you can plug in the SD card, See, it's got an interface. It can do music, movies, uh, photos, and stuff like that, even open documents. So it's got the built-in operating system. It does something. You can load stuff out from your uh, USB key, your phone, or your SD card. So it's a very convenient device. But of course, really, we use it for the HD stuff. Connect it to your game console, connect to your computer, etc.
So what's the verdict? Well, I think uh, it's a full-on projection. If you buy it as a projector to replace your television, not a good idea. This is a cheapo. It's an equivalent of something like $100 to $120 uh, device. And uh, you're not going to have the performance of an $800 projector. So forget about that. But this is very, very good for one purpose. For your friend comes over. For your friend comes over, you want to watch a movie or if you want to do uh, some co-op. Uh, couch video game stuff like that it would be perfect for it because it doesn't break the bank and then you could have much bigger screen when it's necessary it doesn't work that well with the lights are all on but it doesn't necessarily have to have all the lights off as you can see from the video therefore you can still be able to see and you're able to set up something really quickly and you're able to share that with whatever that's in the room with you i think it's an amazing device and it's totally worth the money I give you a thumbs up. That is that, and thank you for watching. I will see you next time.